What is up, my guys? So, what I'm showing here today is going to be the best class for the Batanians. And first, we look over the Fian. That's going to be my second choice overall with this. And then my third choice would be Oathworm. But I can't go out with, I cannot go without the Savage. The Savage is one of my, probably my number one class in almost out of all the factions. Um, I can't really think of another class right now that's my top one. And the reason is because it's got speed like the Berserker from the Sturgeons. It has two-handed sword, which is great. But he has speed, and don't get me wrong, he has very light armor. He has like three armor. But he has so much speed, but not only that, that I like better than the Berserker, because they're pretty alike, except the Batanian Savage gets an all pike. And I love to use the all pike. And you'll see that. And having that speed with the two hander and being able to switch to an all pike is like the best combo for me because I'm constantly fighting, you know, someone on the ground and I'm having a cap guy at the same time. So you kind of just see me use the two hand, that speed, that moving around during that group fighting. I mean, I'm so much faster than the Berserkers because they have that heavy axe. I've got this Trigger Sword that does so much damage. So, I do do have a pretty good round. And I said doo-doo twice. But, I have a pretty good round. And, I use that all pipe two times in a row. And, you just cannot beat the all pipe on Cav. And I've made a video in my poll line video. The all pike is my number one, and you just see why. This is online, so this is a little bit different from fighting AI. And um, here we go. I was trying to duck this guy, but I was not fast enough. So, more about the Savage. Now, you can have, I believe, a sword or javelins, like a one handed sword, um, javelins, or an all pike. And then there's another option instead of the two handed sword. You can bring like a hammer. Which I do not bring because it's too strong. And the sword just does so much damage for me. So I love the sword. And that calf, see, as I'm saying, I'm typically fighting calf and guys on foot. And this is that combo. Now, did die right there. <laughs> so Dex just didn't think I was going to die. But I'm having a great game right now. And <laughs> we'll see the combo of the all pike. And I guess it's not always going to work, so I'm kind of glad I showed that gameplay. Because I was pretty confident, even though I already knew what was going to happen. I was thinking for some reason I was going to win that battle. But, or that, that little one-on-one. -on -one. But you will see more and more speed. I'm able to dodge other players much easier. And that's how I really destroy in this game. I mean, I, don't, I think I've already got like 10 kills or something like that. So, And I'm playing skirmish mode. It's three rounds. And you have to cap flags. You don't necessarily have to cap flags. You can kill their whole team. And uh, pretty much you have lives until you're out of coins. So the cheapest life is like 100 coins. The Savage is 120. There's actually another thing that I want to jump into. Actually, the Savage is 110. It's so cheap. So you can get about 3, 4 lives on the Savage. And if you know how to fight, this is the guy to use. And a bunch of people do use it. Or they'll use Fian. And Fien is a similar guy, with, but he's armored and he has a bow. But I will say the Savage is a bit faster. But you do sacrifice the armor. And that's really only if you don't mind not having armor. But you'll see how fast I'm able to kind of move around. Very speedy. Makes it a little bit harder for me to have. But you will see me fail because my teammate cuts me in the back. So that's okay. But we can just see that movement in the acceleration when I'm standing in one place moving to the next and that's what I love about this character as well and I feel you can take a couple hits even though it says you don't have any armor but there's some more op combo sword love it and look at these one hits I mean a lot of these other classes you cannot one hit with like the Fian can one hit which is the archer and then the savage and then other than that, I mean, you're not really getting a lot of one hits and two hits. And you just really can't beat that. I mean, that's my problem with one-handed swords compared to two-handed online is if you can fight two-handed online in this game, you're going to use two-handed because the sword does like 25, 30 damage. Your two-handed does like 50, 42, 60. No. I'm trying to think of like my cons. 
for this. My cons are definitely going to be, I see, three armor, right? So our pros are going to be 83 speed, which is that running. The swing, 93. Swing, or I'm sorry, swinging is 110. Um, swing speed, 93. It's a very fast sword. Um, so you just really can't beat that. Handling, 84. I actually can't see the other one because of when I'm filming this, it's blurry. And it won't go to normal quality until it records, so don't know what that one said. Surprise. But the other probably, I guess, con maybe would be is that you do stand out because you are a pale, white-skinned soldier. But I, I, I like the enemies coming towards me, and you saw more all pike right there. Guys, all pike is gonna be one of the, my favorite weapons, one of the best weapons to use because it's so easy to get kills. So there we go again, just all pike, all pike. And no other class in the Batanians has an all pike. So that might be one of the reasons, and this is, just happens to be the best combo for me, all pike, two-handed sword. Now I try to get on Cav here, and I wanted to get some gameplay of the damage you can do on Cav. Now don't get me wrong, since you can't use the all pike on horseback, the sword is good. You just have to watch out because you're you're swinging harder than a Cav. So when you're going in for your teammates to help out, and you hit them, you're most likely gonna kill them. Just look at the damage you do on horseback. They said 69 damage, 90 damage. So there's a, definitely a difference, and you've got to be careful going in because when you start spamming swings you're gonna start hitting your teammates and you're doing a lot more damage than what usually would be dealt so here we go this was the last round here finished out with like 15 kills and we will finish it off with more all punch stabbing and big fucking stabs you love them and you see me checking the scoreboard and i check the scoreboard so much because I like to see when the enemy team is still alive, how many I'm fighting, and just kind of what I needed to do. But you'll see me get back on Cav, and this is kind of getting to an ending towards our gameplay, I'm just failing on Cav. Getting my hits in, and I think I do not kill this guy. See, that, that should have made contact, that's why I should have, oh there we go. But that's why I should have definitely got off the list, because it's so much easier for, for me to get kills myself. But this is the final, and I believe I do die here. This, that. I can't necessarily remember. We will find out. So. Okay, big swings. And I'm dead. So, we're going to go ahead and end the video here. And uh, I just wanted to let you guys know to like like and subscribe if you enjoy this content and uh leave a comment below on what you want to see and i'm having a really good time doing this so uh yeah i appreciate it guys and with further ado enjoy me kill this last guy here i did not get the kill basically did. but enjoy guys i will see you guys next time peace